Hi everybody, my name is Pablo, I'm from Italy and this is my scratch built E11 Stormtrooper Blaster with Blaster Core a new sound and light effects module for blasters and weapon props I follow the Blaster Builders Club tutorials and blueprints and uh, almost step by step a great tutorial by Dark Side Sith Lord which I thank for the great work I've used a PVC pipe for the main body sheet metal for the folding stock which is functional and extends up as you can see sheet metal also for the magazine which is removable and contains the two lithium batteries that power up the electronics sheet metal also for the mag housing uh, aluminum bars for the stock uh, folding stock arms and the scope mount and uh, copper piping a funnel tip and washers assorted washers for the scope which has its little its nice visual effects as you can see very realistic and the only thing uh, things I bought are the counter which is a real metal socket hamster counter a very fine piece and I'd like to thank Joey for it and uh, the T-Tracks which are made out of rubber and I'd like to thank Tony for them thank you so, the main feature of this blaster are the electronics which are inside here, we have a removable end cap and this, is, this little board contains uh, as an uh, SD card, a removable SD card which contains all the sound fonts, sound effects and configuration files for the weapon. So, let's turn it on. We have a boot sound and as you can see I've installed six LEDs inside the counter so this little bar graph here indicates the remaining energy in the weapon the, this uh, animation tells us that the weapon is at full level now the le uh, is fully charged this is a little switch which allows us to change from single shoot mode to full automatic mode full automatic mode single shoot mode different sounds and this little LED, blue LED lights up to tell us that we are in full automatic mode this is the main trigger and this one is the auxiliary button which allows us to change the range of the weapon and recharge or reload the weapon so let's try it We have an RGB Luxion LED inside the barrel. Six LEDs here for the ray propagation effect. And also a rumbling motor inside for the force feedback effect. So the weapon is actually vibrating when I shoot. By pressing the auxiliary button we change to range 2 which is the medium blast different sound and it drains much more energy from the weapon empty we can wait for the energy to climb back again to the maximum or we can press with a longer pressure the auxiliary button and charge and recharge the weapon manually full again we now go to range 3, which is the heavy blast, another sound, and this drains a lot of energy from the weapon. You can also hear the slightly change in pitch, it drops down as the energy goes down. To simulate the fact that the weapon is, is getting tired. The first range of the weapon is the stun mode. Different selection sound and different behavior. Set for stun! So we have the right sound, the right blinking effect, and a different animation here, which is much slower. And as you can hear, it's very loud. We have two loudspeakers one inside the main body with its little resonant chamber and one inside the counter 
Another cool feature is that you can have multiple sound fonts inside one <coughs> weapon. So we can navigate into the menu by pressing together the two buttons. Select a different sound font. Kalashnikov, for example. Different boot sound. We don't have the animation here anymore. And different behavior. Kalashnikov sounds. A faster flash. A static flash here instead of the animation which is much more appropriate for the for a machine gun. We still have the single shoot mode, full automatic mode. Now the magazine is empty. We recharge. Ooh, weapon jammed. To unjam we must press the auxiliary button. So, you can make your own sound fonts, customize every parameter in the weapon, uh, the duration of the main flash, the auxiliary flash, the main uh, ammo uh, capacity, the secondary ammo capacity, everything can be changed and tweaked, which is a very nice feature. The last feature, which is a very nice one, is the eye saber or eye blaster mode which is a built-in mp3 player As you can see, the bar graph now acts as a view meter and shows the level of the music. We can change the track. I think this is it. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed my little presentation. Thank you to all the people who contributed to the building of this uh, great blaster. And goodbye to you. See you.